fast are you swinging, how much spin are you trying to get, it's smoothness and I think that's something yeah. that's just a big part of my game but yeah. I think it just helps take your focus off like one really sort of tangible thing you're trying yeah. to think about like spin or height of the net or whatever it is like it, it often will come naturally. Yeah. Yeah. as you said through through that and I think it's interesting yeah. now looking back at even a lot of my coaching you rarely pick up on you, you're always being told that's things. right you're always say, a coach is telling you this is what you know it looks like to me and therefore this is what you should try and do so then you've got an idea of like okay I need to do this I need to do this and mm. it might be it does mm. look that way but you're mm. not feeling you're not feeling it. Feeling that. No. I'm not, I'm not like, you know, they might say you need to close the racket face, and I, I might be like, oh, I feel like I'm closing it a lot. Sure. So, sure. you know, I think that's a really And another coach thing. might so, tell you something else. So I think, like you said, that self learning process. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that yeah. Being self observed is actually extremely important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you, you know, if you, if you learn in this way, you can self coach because you can go out on the practice court and you can feel things yourself and you go oh, I'm going to just pay attention to that just observe that you know and we've got lots of drills the drills come easily don't they you can, you can come up with those anybody can do that but what you're experiencing is what you're experiencing and then you can like adjust that um, qualities are great you know smoothness elegance all the federal stuff if yeah. you just tap into those you know qualities then lots of other natural things change, yeah. you know, so it's... Um